Hey guys, today I'm telling you guys the best ways to make money as a beginner in GTA. These are just some one-time, you know, multiple-time methods you can use to make money at the start of your GTA Online career, or even in the future if you just want to make some money. So this will basically, all these together combined, will probably make you like a lot, a lot, and I'll be explaining why in a sec. So this will just make you some great money to get yourself started off, buy some good guns, maybe some property, a car, or whatever, and these will basically get you set for a little while and be some great just helping money, and most of these will really, really not take that long, and will also be some stuff that's like no weird, like you have to glitch this to make a million dollars nothing like that i'm just showing like official methods that like help you guys out as easy as possible these are like pretty much ones you can do in invite only sessions and not just public sessions so you don't need to do this with a bunch of other friends you don't need to get like a whole group of like 20 friends just to get these done these are pretty actually pretty easy if you want to see more like this like and subscribe and let's get right into it so the first thing is these actually there's three treasure hunts in the game there's one for the stone hatchet there's one for the double action revolver and there's one for the navy revolver i would recommend doing all these missions because double action and navy revolver actually pretty good they do a lot of damage and they're pretty helpful if you want to do some like if you're good with like revolvers and stuff and they're pretty good and they're super easy and they also pay a lot of money all three of these if you get them done will make you around eight hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. and they actually do not take that long because most of the time it's just going around grab me something going this way and find this thing but basically the first thing is actually the stone hatchet there's a lot of great tutorials on this so search that out but basically you have to get five kills as the hitman job and then mod will tell you that she has like a secret treasure hunt after that you can go to where that is and you can get a very special hatchet then there's also the double action revolver which is finding these clues and tracing them around there's a lot of great tutorials for that as well gives you the double action revolver after that i think you have to get 50 headshots on cops with it and then you get a bunch of money i think like 250k or something like that and also with the same with the stone hatchet and navy revolver this gives you an item in red dead online if you ever play that so for sure check that out finally the navy revolver is a clue hunting one this one's actually pretty easy so there's basically there's four different spots for the first clues and then the last one there's five possible locations so I'd recommend watching a tutorial on it and there's also a little boss fight at the end but honestly if you just headshot him with like a good gun like a revolver or something that you do have then you can pretty much get him done in a couple shots and maybe even a sniper rifle or a shotgun he can get dealt with pretty easily next is one that does not pay as much but you can do this every single day and it's the free money from the casino so basically if you go up to the counter in the casino you're allowed to get a visitor bonus of $1,000 every day or 1,000 chips and you can gamble that away if you want I would not recommend doing that but you can also go to the wheel where you can get clothing RP and sometimes like 40 to fifty thousand dollars maybe even a car too for sure always go to the casino like every day you hop on you know spin the wheel grab some money and stuff i would not recommend gambling though it does not usually give you a return on your investment next is the daily objectives so basically if you press m and look you can actually see daily objectives on your screen and basically these are the things that you can do like play golf go to this thing do this mission or whatever and they're usually pretty easy and they should take you around like 45 minutes to do and they honestly they pay a lot if you keep doing this for a while like if you do this for like a month straight you make like 750k or something like that so it's free money for doing like a few little activities you probably have never done before in the game like when would you do arm arm wrestling or when would you do golf or whatever so it just gives you a little time to just go around and explore the game see what's there and finally is also the last dose missions which are actually very new they're about a month old at the time of recording this video and they're insanely good for paying money so the first time you get them done you get like 100k extra each time you beat a mission and it's about seven or eight missions plus added on you know whatever else and you get actually a reward as well a very very fast car at the end and it's the start of an acid lab business acid lab businesses are super easy to set up and they're really great you can source supplies you know sell your supplies and they're really good they make a bunch of money they're probably the best business in the game at the moment and you also get a super fast car that has crazy good acceleration not amazing top speed but really good for 100 free so i'd recommend if your first thing was when you get on gta online is to do these last dose missions after maybe getting this stone hatchet double action revolver and neighbor revolver and stuff getting some money like that at the end of this you should maybe have like three million dollars or something or even more or less i don't know i didn't do the math i'm pretty new to gta online well i'm sort of new but i'd love to make content for this game i really enjoy it. I hope this video helped you guys out because I know how hard it is to get started and like you don't know what to do. So I hope this helped you out. Have a good day and take care everyone.